Hey racers, morning, it's Saturday morning. We are getting ready to pull out, heading to Indy for the banquet for the Indy Quarter Scale Racer Association, so stay tuned. We're gonna come back with some pictures, hopefully some interviews, and uh, let you know who won all the trophies. Thank you. Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, back in the shop here, just got home from Indy from the uh, banquet for the Indy Quarter Scale Racers, had a great time. Unfortunately, I gotta apologize, I didn't get a lot of video that I'd hoped to, I'd hoped to do some interviews and stuff, but we just got so busy eating and cutting up and having a good time that uh, I just didn't get around to it. I did get some video of the awards presentation, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that now. And what have you, um, Justin, uh, well, Let's start off with third place was uh, Joe Atkins. Of course, he's not here. But Joe showed up to probably about half the races this year, which was good because last year he only showed up like two. So he's make you know, showing up a little more often. Uh, second place was Dave Hamstra. Now, him and Justin were a point or two apart going into the last race. And I believe Justin actually won the race. No. No, that was when the kid come in and beat you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was when Kate come in. But you finished in front of Dave, so you... Yeah. So, the championship for Luminous Sportsman at IQSR this year is Justin Walker. Come on up, Justin. First time you're doing the RC car. That's for you. And this is for you. I got what I was told to get. Uh, sprint car class came back this year, thanks to, uh, of course, WCM. And it is, even though I've tore mine up, the reason I keep building, putting it back together is because I love running that car. It is a fun car to drive. I just wish I would quit hitting the walls. <laughs> so I was I was fortunate enough to finish third in the class. Yay! It's because Tony broke his really bad and never put it back together. Uh, Chris Hogue was second in the class, and uh, Chris was built up such a lead at the beginning, but he missed a few races in the middle, and that allowed. Burrito Supreme won one to be, the, to be a sprint car champion in 2019 at IQSR. I'm sorry, I had to do that. That was I, I, I hold that. You hold that. Now, if I ever win another championship, if I ever get lucky and do that, I'm getting this jacket here. Oh yeah. This is a good looking jacket. Oh yeah. With that super small? <laughs> That's extra big. That's extra big. Really super size, huh? <laughs> Sportsman. We had... I got lucky this year. The Sportsman class was like up and down on numbers this year. You know, some races we'd have 10. Some races we'd have three or four. Um, <coughs> uh, third place in Sportsman was Tony Walker. You want to hold it? Good. I want to hold it. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Oh. And second place. Man, this guy, this guy, he gets more trophies and plaques from our club. It's Chris Stump. Yay! <laughs> I was looking at his wall. Like, remember last year he finished, what, third in two classes? Yeah. Good job. Thank you. He's got a trailer he needs to, I don't even know if it's going to be big enough to put the truck in if he goes trucks. He may have to go get a bigger oh, trailer. Oh, no, I won't. And <laughs> you have enough truck to pull everything. I'm saying that our fee is the, $1,000 the fee. to save it all. Yeah, eventually you guys are going to start charging us for this. Because uh, this is a lot of work for you guys. That's why I thank you. I really, really sincerely mean that when I thank you guys. Um, I learned something from Chris over the last uh, few years. There's, there's a certain way that you can win championships. And that's basically just 
showing up to every race. Every race. Right. <laughs> I, did, I, I was competitive in some races. Uh, close to the end of the year, I found out that my car had a, you know, the frame was broke, so it was kind of off a tenth or two from everybody else. It wasn't getting through the corners very well. But the sportsman champion was me. Yay! <laughs> Only because I was at every race. Hey, that's a Yeah, this was... Did you get the same jacket? No, I did yeah, not. You, I mean, you got oh, basically yeah. what I got last year. Yeah. Okay, how was that? Uh, congratulations to all the winners. Uh, it was pretty awesome. Those jackets look great. Someday I'm going to win one of those. You wait and see. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get more to the track more this year and have a little more uh, time, more racing. But it's always fun to get to the track and talk with your buddies and have a good time and laugh and cut up. So make sure you uh, get out to the track this year. So last week, last video that I did, I talked a lot about um, tools, some things you needed to carry with you to the track. But one thing I didn't show you that I should, that everybody needs to have a copy of, the rules. This is the uh, 2019 rule book. Go on to the QSAC website and download you a copy, print it out. Well, over the winter, just look through it. Look at the classes you're going to be running. Um, just look over the rules. Make sure you're familiar with everything. That can eliminate a lot of questions that you might have. Um, eliminate a lot of um, maybe some discussion online that we see over the winter time about rules. But it's a good idea to have a copy of the rules with you. Be familiar with them. Have a copy with you at the track. Um, it's just good to have. So the last thing I've got, I talked uh, earlier about ordering parts and getting things ready, getting your car ready. Um, so I got some parts in this week and looking forward to getting started on my car. I wanted to go over something real quick here. Um, the parts that I got in this week, um, I needed a uh, new left control arm. Uh, I upgraded to the VX2. Um, got these from JR Quarter Scale since I'm running a Vision this year. Um, I also got a new rear hub um, I was needing. I had a problem at the last race. I was running the hub I was running. wasn't really made for my axle. And uh, I kind of boogered it up trying to get it to stay on. Fortunately, it stayed on for me for the end of the race. The last thing I bought here, I was kind of wanting to talk a little bit about. Um, Freddie has upgrade, updated the um, sway bar arms. And I just wanted to show you a little bit. I just got a set of these and I'm really looking forward to putting them on. The old arm that um, I had on my vision was uh, split and the arm went through and it just kind of pinched down as you can see there on the uh, sway bar. But this new arm that he's came out with, it's actually two separate pieces and has four bolts that hold it in. So it gets a lot better bite on the sway bar and uh, won't have any chance of slipping. But, um, just a lot better design, and uh, the guys that I've talked to that have ran it um, are real happy with it. So if you get a chance, you got a Vision or a Lightning, um, check those out. So that's all I've got for this video. Uh, once again, guys, if uh, you have any comments, anything that you would like me to cover on these, I'm going to actually start uh, putting my car together. Uh, in the next week or so. So I'm going to be doing some videos on that. Um, just some high level stuff. If you have um, comments, questions, concerns, any ideas of topics over the winter that I can be covering, please, please let me know. Um, make sure that you, if you enjoy these videos, that you like and <clears throat> um, subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, it just makes it easier to track everything if, if everybody subscribes to the channel. Uh, another thing I want to address, it's winter time. Um, guys are going through a lot of their stuff and they have a lot of stuff left over. Put some things up for sale that you're wanting to get rid of. It'll help you generate some money so you can buy new parts this year. And your old parts will help guys that may be new and just getting into the sport or maybe trying to build another car. It'll help them get going. Um, so I know there's uh, some Facebook pages like um, uh, swap and sell type pages for quarter scale racing on Facebook. Go on there and post up some pictures of some things that you might have for sale. I know uh, several guys have got complete cars for sale. I just looked at one today that um, Chris Stump has for sale. Really nice uh, WCM he's got for sale. Got a great price on it. So if you're looking for one, give him a call. But um, get rid of your old stuff that you got laying around and help somebody out, help somebody get a new car going. Maybe we'll get some new guys into the sport. So that's all I've got for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and uh, give me a like, give me comments, give me whatever you guys have got. So until the next time, 
good racing and uh, hope we all make it through the winter okay thanks <music>